Disney is reporting its financial results after today's closing bell. Uh, here with a preview is Yahoo Finance's Emily McCormick. And Emily, it's hard to believe, but Disney is going to be celebrating the second anniversary of its streaming service, Disney+. Plus. I'm sure we're going to hear a lot about that on the earnings call. That's right, Alexis. And Disney Plus subscriber numbers are definitely going to be the main metric that Wall Street is looking for in Disney's fiscal fourth quarter earnings report after market close today. Now, specifically, investors are going to want to see how Disney Plus continued to grow as the reopening took place, as vaccinations took place, and as people had more competition for entertainment rather than having to stay at home and watch their streaming platforms here. But on the topic of streaming, Disney Plus is expected to see a slowdown in subscriber additions. Wall Street specifically expects the company to add just 4.9 million subscribers to bring these to a total of 119.6 million for the quarter ended in September. Now that would compare to 116 million total Disney Plus subscribers that we saw at the end of the fiscal third quarter. Now just a couple of months ago, CEO Bob Chapek had already hinted that there was going to be this deceleration happening on the platform. And he said that Disney Plus subscribers would likely only grow in the low single digits, mostly because of disruptions in show productions due to lingering COVID-19 related impacts. Though he did also note at the time that those delays were expected to be short-term in nature. But as a reminder here, Disney Plus is still expected to have between 230 million and 260 million total paid subscribers by the end of fiscal 2024. So after results today, we will see if the company gets a little bit closer to hitting that target, Alexis. And also, of course, a big component for the company is its theme parks. And now we know the US earlier this week opening up our borders to vaccinated, fully vaccinated foreigners. Uh, things have also loosened up a bit in England. So I don't know how much that, I mean, this report's gonna be backward looking, but perhaps they have some things to say about where they expect a theme park attendance to be in the near future. Absolutely, Lexus. And even if we take a step back and think about what Disney had reported for the fiscal third quarter or the previous quarter, that's the first time that we actually saw the company's theme park business segment swing back to an operating profit since the start of the pandemic here. So that streak of profitability is expected to continue into the fiscal fourth quarter. Uh, specifically, Wall Street is expecting the parks experiences and product segment to bring in operating income of $864.4 million for the fiscal fourth quarter, again, swinging back into profitability compared to the same period of last year. And attendance at its global theme parks are supposed to be the biggest component of that. And then the one other area to really watch with this segment is going to be trends around cruise line bookings here, because we did have Disney's cruise ships leaving from Florida actually resume their sailing patterns earlier on during the summer. So that will be included in this quarterly report here. And then cruises in California resumed after the end of this reported quarter. And cruises from Texas are also set to return in the next couple of weeks. So that will be something that impacts the current quarter results. So definitely a lot to watch here in Disney's re report after the bell today. But again, really the two main focuses are going to be on those Disney Plus streaming subscriber trends, as well as attendance at those parks and resorts, Alexis. We're going to be watching for sure. All right. Thanks so much for the preview, Emily McCormick.